Hi, uh, welcome everybody. Uh, welcome to the Holy Land by Itamar Book, uh, Moses' nephew. Uh, we are in Jerusalem and uh, we are by uh, the Muslim neighborhood which is north to the most beautiful gate that we have in Jerusalem, Damascus Gate. Um, Damascus Gate, I always when I look at Damascus Gate, it looks like it is an entrance to a palace for me. Um, but we are talking about part of a complex uh, of walls and gates that were built by Sultan Suleiman, Suleiman the Magnificent, talking about the first half of the 16th century. Right now, there isn't an option, you can see the security guards, uh, there isn't an option to stop over here because of the wall, so we have to be on the move. Um, but I want to show you this beautiful gate because it's really like the nicest one in the city. And what sometimes people don't notice, that it's actually a triumph gate. It is like a victory gate, like we are familiar with from uh, Rome. So take a look, two small gates that you see like that by the main gate that we're gonna enter from. But actually, this one that we're gonna enter from right now is from the 16th century while the one that we had from the Roman time is all the way up and was actually underneath this. So right now, we will get closer and closer. And this gate is actually, the complex of it is more for the soldiers that were about to conquer the city, to get into the city because you see the shape of it. It is a shape for the people to make it really, really difficult to get inside. Um, it is more than 90 degrees shape. So as we get in, it's a sharp turn to the left and then a sharp turn to the right. As well, if you look up over here, you can see it is in Arabic. Um, and you can see uh, how we glorify, uh, first of all, Allah, because nothing will happen without Allah. After that, we thank his messenger, Muhammad. And at the end, we also thank Sultan Suleiman, the magnificent as the one that was in charge of these walls. We're going to pass over here by the military border police. And you will see the shape of the gate. So follow me. So, also a bit about the name. In Damascus Gate is the name in English. But um, if we talk, if we um, talk in Hebrew right now, I want to say Damascus Gate, I would say Shal Shem, Shem Nablus which is a different city that we have in um, the West Bank. Okay, so the name in Arabic is Babel Amud. What is Babel Amud? Babel Amud is like the Pillar's Gate. And why the Pillar's Gate? Because there was, just next to the gate, there was a pillar, really nice high pillar, with the statue of Adrian on it. Adrian was the, name, was the one that changed the name of this city to Ilia Capitolina by his name and for the gods, Ilius Adrianus, uh, the city for the gods. This name didn't stick that much, but you know which name did stick? The land of Palestine, that he changed from Israel into Palestine and he did it in the second century. So just to know also who was the one that changed the name. Um, right now, my friends, uh, I want to thank you for watching the video. Uh, thank you for watching Moses Nephew channel. I hope that you enjoy the video. Uh, if you would like uh, to appreciate me in, in, uh, for this walk, um, there is the option of PayPal. Thank you so much for that. And I hope that I will see you also in the next video. Let's get into Jerusalem.